Hello, this is Claire. Um, today, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you my oldies but goodies decks. Um, it is a, a VR to uh, Kitty Flowers and I found very uh, exciting and very fun <laughs> to, um, to go back to my old decks that I uh, really love and uh, that I still uh, uh, working with. Um, some of them less than uh, before, but I, I still love them and uh, it's really a pleasure to share uh, this, uh, uh, these decks um, with the tarot community. So I'm doing this, uh, uh, this video in English, uh, I am French, so I've got a, a French accent and sometimes uh, I'm not speaking a very clear English, so I'm sorry. Uh, I hope everybody will understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, my oldest deck is the Tarot de Marseille from uh, Jodorowsky. Uh, I've worked with this deck uh, during 10 years, only with this deck. Uh, I have it for, I think it's something like uh, uh, 14 years. Um, it's um, it's a deck uh, I feel really comfortable with because uh, well I used it for very long time at the beginning and during a quite a long time I used only majors uh, it, it's quite uh, classical in France uh, m m the, most of the people who were using tarot uh, we're using only majors, uh, so uh, that's what I did at the beginning, and uh, I really like uh, I really like this tarot. It's uh, plenty of colors, and uh, I have I have spent a lot of time studying the cards, uh, understanding the what was on the cards, and. Um, uh, reading the what's the, the, the way of uh, tarot I think it's the, the name of the book of Jodorowsky I had it in uh, in French and it's uh, well I deck I feel comfortable with and I, I feel home and I've got uh, very uh, very nice um, memories with this deck even if I bought it in a very difficult uh, period of time uh, for me, uh, I really love it and uh, I, I still use it. Um, now I, I well, I, I love uh, his historical decks, and this one is not in my historical decks, so I've got other decks, other Marseille decks, but this is my uh, favorite. Um, maybe not my favorite, but it, it's the one I have the most. Uh, uh, experience with and uh, it's like uh, a companion <laughs> for me. So the, the second uh, tarot I bought, uh, so it was uh, 10 years after having this one, was the manga tarot from uh, Los Carabeo. So I have trimmed the borders and I've used it a lot um, in uh, using the intuition and uh, watching what was going on on the images and uh, using it as a psychological tool, um, asking uh, the people I was working with uh, what they are seeing and what they, they are thinking about the, the images. So uh, it was a classical tarot for me, but also um, um, a new way of seeing the tarot as a psychological tool. Uh, I love because there are lots of uh, twists in the uh, in the meanings, uh, if you compare it to the rider weight, and um, there is something like um, uh, sort of um, lessons from uh, from from China, and uh, it's uh, it has this uh, um, what's the name uh, from China from Japan. You've got this sense of um, Asiatic uh, um, wisdom, and uh, I really like uh, this uh, this energy, and I still uh, I still use it. I still uh, I still love to use it, and uh, they um, they have um, 
uh, exchange some cards, uh, putting a, meal, um, a woman instead of a man, and so on. And it was, uh, it was, uh, it is, it is still uh, quite feminine. Uh, it's it's not all feminine, but you've got, uh, for instance, the the fool is a woman. Um, and there were an exchange between the priest and the priestess. Um, so I like, uh, I really like the, all the images, and uh, I spend quite uh, lots of time with my uh, uh, with my friends also, uh, and uh, using it uh, with a, a great pleasure. It's the first uh, fully illustrated with a well um, uh, life scene uh, in all the cards. It's the the first uh, non. Um, Tarot de Marseille, I, I have used a lot. Not the first I bought, but uh, the first I used uh, so much. So this is the, the manga tarot. I'm not sure you can still have it uh, from Los Carabio, um, uh, but well. Um, the second one uh, is another one. I It was quite amazing when I... Uh, when I discovered it, it so uh, lots of people know it. Um, uh, it's the Tarot des Mondes Oniriques. Um, the oh, what's in English? Well, okay, you, you, <laughs> you know what what game what uh, deck it is. Um, so this one is full of uh, delicatessen uh, magics. Um, I've got it also in French, and the French edition is uh, really beautiful. Its uh, images are wider, and you've got um, silver uh, edges. Um, so this is my first. Uh, the, f the first one it was in uh, uh, the Shadowscape style. <laughs> so this one was in English, and um, I really fall in love with the, the artist paintings. Uh, my boyfriend bought me some uh, uh, reproductions, uh, so I've got uh, lots of uh, her art in my house. And uh, I really love the way uh, the, um, uh, the cards are depicted. I love the connection with nature, with animals. And uh, there's something very sweet and uh, very dreamy. It's... Uh, I find it's it may be the, the, the most beautiful tarot I have and also uh, one of the most interesting so I really do love this tarot. Uh, the other one is also a tarot from Los Carat Beo. It's the Fairy Light Tarot. Uh, it is um, quite um, different tarot as it was made by um, um, the, the artist did um, paintings and she cut the paintings into two so each card has uh, a sister and can be combined so if you can if you find the two cards you've got uh, something quite special i love the the dreamy um, the dreamy feel of the cards I'm not using it um, as a traditional tarot. I just um, imagine and feel the message through the images. So I can I like this because I can use it as uh, I can have the have the sorry the informations uh, remembering the um, what the card is about uh, and um, I can also. Uh, see the answer through the images. So it depends on um, it depends on uh, on the spread. Uh, it's really easy also to make pictures and uh, see what's going on. You've got sort of a, of a picture of uh, your answer. So you can have a sort of story. You can use it as a, as if it was a story of. A, uh, wall painting and uh, when you see the images you you have the um, you have your answer you have your your guidance 
and uh, I really, really, really love this, uh, this tarot. I would love to have it in a bigger size. I have trimmed it, of course, as you see, and uh, aged it also. Um, the third one uh, is a very special tarot for me because um, the first time I saw the images, I thought, I saw, um, I thought, well, it's it's awful. Like I can't, I can't work with this. It's, it's. I feel bad when I look at the images. So, I started being obsessed by uh, this tarot, and then I discovered that um, this tarot was talking to me about um, being imperfect, uh, having scars. Um, having parts of me destroyed and still living with these parts and uh, I made uh, a really interesting job, a psychological job with this deck. I only use it for me and I have only used it for me. It's my working deck, my psycho psychological working deck. If I want to work a certain type of um, uh, of well of scars of difficulties I have and uh, I love it I love uh, I love everything in this deck it speaks to me so well and uh, give me so um, it doesn't seem but it gives me very sweet guidance and uh, is is really um, there's something touching in all the, 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 the people you see, they are all so human, so, uh, yes, with the, the good and the bad faces, with the shadow and the light, and uh, I love, 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 love this deck. And also I have um, read about this deck, and uh, the, the author, Patrick Valenza, uh, told he, he did some, um, some of the textures from uh, pictures he, he did uh, in the uh, cemetery. And uh, when I was uh, young, I had a very uh, strong connection with death and with cemeteries. Don't, so it, it speaks to me also about this. And uh, well, for instance, this one is so, so touching. I love this uh, deck and will always use it. And, uh, it's really part of my uh, working decks and not only my collection. Uh, there's only uh, there's there's also <laughs> another deck. Uh, this is the self-published deck. Uh, this is the Anake Tarot. Uh, for me, the Anake Tarot is the exact opposite of all the other decks I have seen. It's a very down-to-earth deck and. Uh, this is the one I am using for me and for others when I feel that the, the person or me have uh, need, uh, needs to be more um, down to earth. So it's really simple, really day-to-day um, -day life and uh, I, I really, really like uh, this deck and uh, I use it quite often when I am too dreamy or in something that is very complicated, too, um, uh, too mental, too uh, uh, out of the life. It, it, it's, it's a deck that just uh, grounds you and uh, I, uh, I often need it and uh, the person I am working with uh, also uh, often needs to uh, to be grounded so this is a, a good deck for that and it this is a, well I think this is one of my first public uh, self-published deck I bought um, another deck that is not a self-published deck but it's a deck that uh, it is difficult to find anymore because it's out of print. It's the Vampire Tarot of um, Robert Place. Uh, with this deck, I have made um, a huge uh, work. 
I read at the same time uh, the, the book, uh, the Dracula book, uh, and it was really interesting seeing the, the story, understanding this, more the story, because of the, I read it, but for a, it was a very long time ago, and I understood better the, the story. And here you see some, uh, some of uh, the images that are linked to the, to the story. Um, I, I like the work of Robert Place, and uh, the book is really interesting. And uh, the feeling of this uh, tarot is for me uh, uh, a really uh, psychological feeling. And, um, and there's something also quite romantic in this, uh, in this tarot. And lots of uh, interesting uh, texts on the, for instance, what is tempérance, and I love the way it is depicted here. And um, it's sort of so of um, message um, wider than what you can just see here uh, in the in this world today. What is tempérance? Uh, because we are using all the uh, we are using a lot of our resources, and so how can we use it more uh, with more responsibility, for instance? So it's not only a story of vampires. It, the vampires are a really good archetype to work on uh, psychological needs, to work on uh, how we manage our desires and uh, so I, I really love uh, this deck and also the, the book uh, that is really well uh, written by uh, Robert Place. And then I've got two uh, other decks I bought uh, at the same time. I bought and I was gifted. It's uh, two decks from Baba Studio. Um, the Victorian Romantic Tarot. Uh, which is a deck that, uh, uh, I love because it's uh, I love the, the texture texture of the deck. I love the images. I love the way uh, all the cards are um, uh, romantic and they speak very well because you you've got scenes so you can uh, tell stories. Uh, using the cards and uh, what is a uh, tarot reading? Uh, it is uh, a storytelling. Um, so I, I really like uh, this deck and I use it again quite a lot uh, to read these times. I've seen that it has been released uh, again uh, with a fold, a golden fold, and uh, but it's it's. Uh, quite expensive now with the golden fold. I'm happy to have this one and uh, I've got a really um, sweet relationship with this uh, tarot. I uh, so much love it and uh, I love the Knight of Cups. It's it's uh, my Lancelot. <laughs> I, I love, uh, I love uh, lots of cards. I love the Ace of Wands. Um, I feel really good when I uh, use it and uh, it gives me this, uh, this romantic uh, feeling and uh, it's a really a uh, deck to, to read with, not only for romantic um, questions, uh, I, I've used it recently for a business uh, <laughs> reading, so it's not uh, only for romantic uh, reasons, but uh, for all the, the subjects. I find it uh, very, uh, very useful and easy to work with. And the last one, uh, I've used a lot. I use it less now. It's also a Baba Studio deck. It's the Gothic Tarot, Bohemian Gothic Tarot. Um, I love also the... the the, the, the cards, the, the back of the cards is, is really beautiful and it's also a dark deck 
but uh, well, it's it's more softer than uh, the Vampire Taro. It's also romantic, and uh, it makes me feel. My my mother gifted it to me, and uh, there are some images that. Uh, reminds me of some photos of my mother when she was younger and uh, so I've got this uh, special links link sorry with this uh, and also I love this one uh, it's, a, it's the fortune teller and uh, so well this is uh, the kind of photo uh, you could have had um, in the, the the beginning of the 20th century so could have been my grandmother no my uh, uh, grand grandmother uh, and uh, so I like this one and uh, I, I could use it um, to, to work on my ancestors for instance uh, you've got some uh, creepy people also and as I have some creepy uh, experiences in my uh, ancestors' life, I really, uh, it's really a, a deck uh, that sweeps for, uh, for this type of, uh, of work. But most, most of the time I use it for a psychological uh, or emotional uh, readings. And mostly for me also. <laughs> And when I read for others, most of the time I, I take some um, decks that are quite uh, neutral uh, or decks that can be related to the person. Uh, okay, so these are the my oldest and my beloved um, tarot decks. I also have other decks. Uh, that are uh, oracles. So, oops. Uh, one of my oldest deck is Feminitude. It is a French deck working on femininity. Uh, the artist is uh, Mira, and I really do love what she's doing. Uh, it's uh, I love love love. So I have. Uh, I will show you. So this is the different phases of the um, uh, of the the, the feminine uh, power. It is linked to the um, uh, what's the name in English um, of the periods. So you've got the different. Um, stages of the cycle, feminine cycle, okay, that's, that's more just. And you've got, uh, so different families. He has a sort of um, shamanic vibe. You've got also a series of, um, of uh, trees. Uh, I love, love this deck. I would love to have it in a, with bigger uh, images and better quality of cards. No, the quality of card is quite good, but the, the backs are really uh, really basic. It's better than I have trimmed the borders. <laughs> so um, I love this, uh, really love this deck. I worked a lot with it. I've made a lot of spreads that were um, proposed in the book. The book is very big and uh, you've got lots of things to uh, to discover, to read, to uh, work with, to work on, and uh, really, uh, it's it's uh, very old. <laughs> it's quite old. I'm not. I can't see the date. So, <laughs> feminitude. The second one uh, is. Uh, one of the, my first oracles is the Oracle of Visions. I love Chiro Marchetti. I've got uh, many decks from him. My favorite one is uh, this one and also the, the Keeper. And I love uh, all the details we have on this, uh, on this deck. 
and it is done to be used as an um, intuitive deck. So you, you look at the card and you, you let the message come to, comes to you. And I love, uh, I love this uh, it's sort of color, the steampunk <laughs> um, world. And uh, love this, love this deck. And I've used it really, really a lot. I use it quite, I don't use it as often as before uh, but uh, I still uh, I still love it um, <laughs> the second uh, third one sorry is uh, Mother Mary Oracle this is the deck I use the most because I use it uh, every, each time I'm doing um, uh, I'm doing a reading for someone else uh, I connect with I connect with Mary's uh, energy. I pray Mary, uh, and uh, I have uh, trimmed the borders and trimmed the the title. Um, I have only did a sort of summary of the the name uh, and to have the the information that uh, uh, Alana Fairchild wanted to give with the card. Um, it's a really uh, nourishing deck for me. Uh, I feel really uh, safe. I feel protected. I feel uh, uh, centered when I uh, when I use it. And uh, this is the way I connect to Mary's uh, energy. And it was quite a surprise. I as was. Uh, I used to be uh, really in. Uh, I had quite a rejection of Catholic uh, relig religion, even if uh, in uh, in Europe the, it is quite soft the the way we we practice. I don't know is the, the name in, in in English, the way we are uh, we practicing uh, the religion. Um, I felt a sort of disconnection between uh, what was said and what was done. So. Uh, and I didn't feel quite comfortable with having people saying me what to do and uh, uh, having a Pope. Uh, and so it was difficult for me. So I reject everything. But uh, during my difficult periods, when I was a child, I, um, I had a very strong connection with Mary and uh, I still have. And it is a really uh, an energy that is close to me and help me so it helped me also to be really centered and really um, in the peace in uh, uh, truth uh, in um, harmony and gives this in uh, in a reading so this is the Mar Mary Oracle Mother Mary Oracle I think in English others deck um, is the shape shifters from Lucy Cavendish. Uh, so French people know that I use a lot um, power animals. Uh, it helped me uh, really a lot when I uh, did a very uh, difficult, uh, anxious uh, crisis. I transformed into a wolf to uh, avoid uh, taking uh, strong medication. So this one uh, was the first uh, I, uh, I bought. I, chose, I have chosen this edition because I loved the back. Um, I love this, uh, these uh, little girls, sad little girls, because I, I found my uh, sad little girl <laughs> in, this, um, in these images. And uh, so I, I, it's the little child that uh, is uh, feeling good when I look at this, um, uh, this oracle. I've used it also for other people, but most of the time it was for me. And I really, really love this oracle. I also have it in French. And uh, it's uh, one of my, uh, my favorite oracles uh, from uh, Jasmine Beckett. Griffith. <laughs> uh, then, um, I've got uh, some uh, self-published decks. Uh, my favorite deck is the one uh, um, 
created by Anna Tourian. Uh, I love this deck. It's it was uh, it could be a, a soul deck because I love the images. I love the feeling of the images. Uh, they they speak to me directly. I feel them. I only use it for me. Uh, it's really a personal. Um, uh, we sometimes say soul deck. Um, it's not. I don't know what is really a soul deck, but it's a deck I feel really good with. Um, there's something delicate. There's something uh, um, artist artistically uh, powerful. Uh, there's a lot of power in this deck, and also a lot of. Um, uh, it transforms without words. I'm not sure you can. It's clear. I am. It's not very clear. I mean, uh, just looking at the keywords and looking at the images, something is happening inside. It's not uh, something mentally. It's not something that I, I work uh, thinking about it. It's only something that touches me and transforms something or maybe just do a little transformation or a little healing and uh, I, I do love it <laughs> and um, there is uh, Margot who is in, on Etsy who did uh, for me this uh, this bag to put uh, to put the, the deck so I'm really, really happy. This, this is the, the only deck I have uh, uh, with a, a special uh, bag <laughs> that is uh, the same as the back of the cards. Uh, so, next decks. Um, the next deck is the... Where is it? It's not, it's not this one. It is... Uh, two indie decks. The first one is the Weird of Sarah Award. Uh, it is a deck that was done by the um, uh, the creator of the uh, Bonfire Tarot, and uh, it is a really uh, interesting deck, full of life, full of color, full of um, uh, artist experience. Um, full of doubts, uh, full of uh, certainties, and uh, I love it. And it's it's a grounding deck too. Uh, it speaks of uh, really day-to-day uh, -day life and day-to-day uh, -day hopes, difficulties, and uh, uh, it's it's a deck I really like. And also the fact that it is a, a small size. I love it. Uh, can have it on my uh, on my purse. On a and there there is a, a really sweet bag with the deck. Uh, I love this deck. <laughs> and I've got it for quite a long time now. So more recently than uh, of course the the Tower of Marseille. Another uh, deck. Um, Ah, in, um, in Tarot decks, I have forgotten to take the Marielle because it's an important deck for me too. And uh, I'm not using it quite often, but it's, uh, it's a deck that is really close to my heart and uh, I, will, I think I will always keep it. Another deck is the um, uh, Magician's deck. It's a really spiritual and uh, magical deck. But um, I use it also for uh, quite practical questions. I love the images. I love the the, the way it is uh, constructed. I'm not using all the time all the structure because uh, the structure is quite uh, complex. Um, I'm using the the rough meaning. To have the information and uh, it's it's really a deck I love and it's quite an old deck I've got it for for many years 
and I still love it. I don't see it quite often. I don't know why, because uh, it's a really nice deck. Um, okay, so the last one. Uh, I don't remember uh, for how long I've got it, but I think it's uh, also quite old deck. It's the Wisdom Keepers. The Wisdom Keepers, they are all allies, they are all friends. Um, who helped me uh, connecting to my inner wisdom. I think I can see them as external people, as um, sort of uh, guides, or I can see them inside of me as a collective uh, experience. Um, uh, collective in conscious. They are all people who lived, who had difficulties and who did something about uh, their difficulties to transform them to... So I, I really uh, do love this deck. I love the colors, I love the, the feeling of the deck. Also I, I really love the, the author. She's got something uh, very special and uh, I love this deck. So, this is uh, my video in uh, bad English, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, these are the decks, the uh, oldies but goodies. I uh, also have new decks that really uh, are important for me and I think I will keep them quite very long time, um, especially um, some decks, uh, Red Seeds Oracle, for instance, it's a very important deck for me today. Um, becomes uh, as important as the uh, Mother Mary Oracle. And um, but these ones are the one I uh, I still uh, work with. I still feel they are the decks I uh, I love, and uh, they can help me. Uh, discussing with my inner wisdom and with the, the mysterious uh, <laughs> um, yes the mysterious the we don't know exactly how it works and uh, so I mean my guide the the guides of the people I uh, I do uh, spreads for and um, this uh, this is my video I hope uh, it won't be uh, too difficult uh, to follow uh, I, I'm going to do it in French too. Bye bye.